guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Little Amykins, or as my therapist likes to call me, that old toe ring that you haven't taken off in months and now it's gone green. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, 10 games that I have chosen from my collection that I either love or I hate. Um, there's more loves than there is hate, if I'm going to be honest with you, because it's very hard for me to have games that I keep that I might hate. Some of these games might be really good for you to like pick up whilst you're in self-isolation. Um, let's begin with the first game. Let's go with the positive first. So my first game that I adore, I adore this game. This is uh, Lord of the Rings Two Towers for PlayStation 2. I just remember having my PS2 as a kid and you can play two player with this. So um, if you've got a PlayStation 2, um, I remember playing this with my brother quite a lot when I was younger. Uh, me and him would play this. I was always Legolas um, and he was always Aragorn. Gimli always got forgotten about. <laughs> I would 10 out of 10 pick this up if you don't have it already. If you like older games, then this is 100% worth it. That was That's number one, that's a lie. I'm gonna go for something, something a little bit more modern, but Crash Bandicoot is the remaster. What the fuck? <laughs> Like, that's all I have to say about that. I haven't even beat the first game. Like, I'm actually disappointed in myself, if I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But when I started playing this, I was like, you know what? I'm more skilled, more advanced in my old age. I have rage quit so much on this. You do not understand how much stress this game gives me. When I was a kid, it used to be so bloody easy. And now, like, there is nothing joyful about Crash, you shitty little bandicoot. Crash, you are in the bin. <laughs> I didn't expect it to bounce that much. Right, the game is fine. Um, so this game is for PlayStation 1. So if you've got PlayStation 1, uh, this is my, probably my all time favorite PlayStation 1 game. L somehow I managed to lose this game as I was growing up, so I had to re purchase it again. Um, so I'm really glad to have this back in my collection. The, the levels to it kind of remind me, like I'm in the middle of playing Mario Odyssey at the moment and it's kind of got like that kind of vibe, but like really old, but it's like beautiful and that's what I love. I love the old, give me some old pixel titties and I'm sold. <laughs> or in this case, rabbit titties. Let's go back to PlayStation 2. So I'm gonna do these like together because I kind of feel like these need to be done together, but this is a love and a hate. And I guess which one I love and which one I hate. This is gonna be really controversial, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I actually really don't like Rogue Rage. I just, I, I have it and I've played it and I love it. It just can't beat Hit and Run. Like Hit and Run is like GTA on crack. Like <laughs> Rogue Rage just kind of, I think it's the more like the repetitiveness of it. I, racing games in general, I think, are not my cup of tea. I like this sort of thing, racing games, unfortunately. But Hit and Run, I've heard rumours that it's being remastered. I keep hearing rumours about it. I hope so, because remaster of this bad boy would be amazing. It's just what we need right now. Hit and Run, Road Rage, no. Different platform. This is for like maybe if you are at home with your family. Depends on what kind of family you are, but. House of the Dead, two and three. I love this, I do love this. This is a love, by the way, not a hate. Surprisingly, if you follow me, you know how much I hate zombies. Like zombies freak me the fuck out. Like I just can't deal with them. They scare the shit out of me. But House of the Dead, I think it's because I have this like nostalgia of we go to the sea, we'd go onto the pier and they'd have like the arcade on there with all the games and this was my go-to and I used to love shooting the shit out of these pixelated zombies. <laughs> so good, I mean just look at, I mean let's, let's look at these graphics on the back for real like, back, especially if you're stuck inside, Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii is 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 such a good console to be having right now. I mean, I guess like if you have a Switch, you can kind of do it, but the Wii offers so many good games. Like if you can't go out anywhere, like you've got um, the bowling, you've got like the sports things that you can be doing together, like like these sorts of games, like the, the Just Dance game, you can all do bowling together, you can all shoot zombies together. Like it is just, it is an inside game if you can't do outside games. 
Yeah. Uh, let's go back to doing another one that I don't like. This might come as a surprise, considering that the first game that I showed you and all of the fact that I'm also really massively heavily into Lord of the Rings, if you haven't already noticed. Um, Shadow of Mordor. It was so disappointing to play. I know that there's a quite a few other people that have said the same to me when they played this. I just couldn't get into it. Like from like the moment I started playing it, I tried my best. You know, I played it for a good few hours, a good few hours, and then I put it down, and then I put it back. <laughs> Then I put it back in again thinking, well, well, maybe let's try it a month later, it'll be fine, but still can't get into this one. So Shadow of Mordor, I am sorry, but you are in the video. <laughs> I don't want to throw another game again, I'm scared I'm going to smash a window. So my last three games that I've got, if you've not picked them up already, which most people have, uh, the first three that I would recommend, um, other than The Last of Us, because the rest, if you haven't bought The Last of Us with, with your game console, what are you doing with your life? Like, really? Really? So my first one I'm going to start with, this is my, my favourite game for the PlayStation 4, um, Red Dead 2. It's got a very special place in my heart, probably because it's the first video game that made me cry. It doesn't happen very often. I am dead inside. I didn't get red dead redemption the first one i don't know why back then it was a long time ago um i'm not going to question past amy because she obviously had other shit going on then but red dead 2 this game changed my like it just changed for me it just changed my my view on gaming in general um there was something really um special about the story uh, the characters in this um Rockstar really pulled this one out of the bag with this. I mean, I've just played GTA 5 and just completed that and it it just doesn't have anything on Red Dead 2. I could go on about this forever, but I'm not going to because I've got two more games to go. <laughs> uh, my next game, Uncharted 4. If you're not picking up Nathan Drake with your PlayStation, what are you doing? You can get the, uh, the collection first, but Uncharted 4 was what I played first. I know that's a bit backwards, but... I wouldn't have played the other three if I hadn't played this first. Because Nathan Drake, look at, the, look at him. Look at that absolute dad. <laughs> Last one. Um, a Way Out. Kind of vibes of it, of, of the Uncharted games, if I'm quite honest with you. But the fact that you can play this two player, it's just, if you don't pick this up to play with somebody, you've got online, you can invite someone to come play with you. Because I'm pretty sure that that's what me and Louise did when we played it. You just got to pick this up to play with someone it is a great action co-op game i wish that they made more like this we need more games like this and if you've not picked it up already now is the time to do so play it with your partners um as well because even if they don't like games they will totally get into this i promise you yeah, definitely a way out is one to pick up so those were my 10 likes this sort of more likes it was just more 10 likes and a couple that i didn't really like and if you're going to be stuck inside for a while like we all are looks like it's going to be indefinite for the future um but definitely pick up those ones i highly recommend it um if you like this video um and you want to see more of me doing some game reviews then uh hit the subscribe button hit that subscribe button because i'm going to keep doing more of these if you keep subscribing so uh anyway thanks for watching